Hello friends and welcome to AK Agrawal Aptitude Series. Friends, in this session we are going to learn the techniques for solving the various problems related to arithmetic progression or arithmetic series. So this is the first lecture. So we learn some basics about the arithmetic series or arithmetic progression. Here, arithmetic progression, which is also known as AP or arithmetic series, is a sequence of numbers in which the difference between the consecutive terms is constant. the difference between the two consecutive terms is constant for example for instance the sequence 2 4 6 8 is an arithmetic series with common difference of 2 this is just if you see 4 minus 2 is 2 6 minus 4 is 2 8 minus 6 is 2 so for every two consecutive terms common difference will remain same here this common difference is 2 if we see another example the sequence 5 9 13 17 17 etc is also an arithmetic series with common difference of 4 here if you see 9 minus 5 is 4 13 minus 9 is 4 17 minus 13 is also 4 so like this all these types of sequence are called arithmetic series or arithmetic progression so various formula which we use for arithmetic progression assume a series is a a plus d a plus 2d a plus 3d up to n terms any number of terms may be there so here in this series if you see first term is a the series is having first term as a and common difference is d because if you see a plus d minus a is d a plus 2d minus a plus d again it is d so at every a uh, where uh, difference between the two consecutive number difference is d so first term is a and common difference is d so nth term of this series will be given by there may be n terms So this formula is T n nth term is equal to a plus n minus one into d. So T n is the nth term, a is the first term, n is the number of terms, and d is the common difference. If suppose, if suppose there are ten terms, we want to determine what will be the tenth term of this series. We put T ten is equal to a a is same, n is ten. 10 minus 1 9 into d so a plus 9d will be the tenth term of this series like this we use this formula if we want to determine sum of first n term of this series this formula for finding the sum of n terms is given by n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d this is the formula which will be used for finding the summation of the series so we we'll learn in this session how to use these two formula for solving various problems our first problem is which term of the arithmetic progression 2 by 3 comma 3 by 4 comma 5 by 6 is 20 by 3 if suppose this is the arithmetic series or arithmetic progression which term of this series will be 20 by 3 it is 42th term 53 68 or 73 term so just which term there may this is the third this first term second term third term fourth fifth so which term will become 20 by 3 so let us assume nth term of this series is 20 by 3 and we want to determine value of n whether n will be 42 53 68 or 73 so our formula this we have learned tn is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d now in this series if we see a is first term that is 2 by 3 A is first term two by three, and D is the difference between any two consecutive numbers. So D is equal to three by four minus two by three. If we simplify it, we get D is equal to one by twelve. So A is two by three, D is one by twelve in this formula, and value of n we want to determine, and T n is twenty by three. Nth term of the series is twenty by three, so T n is twenty by three. So let us put all these value in this formula. T n is twenty by three. A is two by three plus n minus one. N value we want to determine into d. D is one by twelve. So now if we simplify this equation, we get n is equal to seventy three. So seventy third term of this series will be equal to twenty by three. So friends, in this manner we can use this formula to uh, solve various problems related to nth term. Now let us take one more problem. Find the sum of ten terms of an AP whose fifth term is five and seventh term is three. Now we have to find out sum of ten terms, and it is given fifth term is five and seventh term is three. So friends, assume 
first term of AP is A and common difference is D because uh, this series it will have some uh, first term and some common difference will be there so let us assume first term is A and common difference is D and we know Tn is equal to A plus N minus 1 D why we need A and D because to find out the sum our formula is Sn is equal to N by 2 into 2A plus N minus 1 into D we require value of A as well as value of D and using this clue fifth term is 5 and seventh term is 3 we will determine value of A and D so fifth term is 5 formula for nth term Tn is equal to A plus N minus 1 into D so for fifth term fifth term is 5 it means Tn is equal to 5 5 is equal to A plus N minus 1 into D N is 5 5 minus 1 into D if we simplify it it becomes A plus 4 D is equal to 5 this we call equation number 1 now and seventh term is 3 so let us write for seventh term seventh term is 3 so Tn or T7 is 3 is equal to A plus N is 7 7 minus 1 into D if we simplify this we get A plus 6 D is equal to 3 this we call equation number 2 now friends if we solve equation number 1 and 2 we get a is equal to 9 and D is equal to minus 1 so now we are having a series whose first term is 9 and common difference is minus 1 now we want to determine sum of 10 terms so formula for determining 10 terms Sn is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into D so here n is 10 n is 10 2 into a a is 9 n is 10 10 minus 1 and d is minus 1 so if we put all these value in this formula we will get sum of 10 terms that is s10 if we simplify it we get s10 is equal to 45 so friends answer is 45 a so friends in this manner we can use formula to determine the nth term as well as to find sum of the series up to n terms Friends, thank you very much for watching this video. If you like it, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.